Hey, welcome to Color Yoga. I'm Kyle and welcome to The Power Flow. Well, don't forget to your mat. I hope that you're excited to get into your soft practice. We have got a nice dynamic class lined up, a few twists and balancing postures. So if you find yourself wobbling around, that's totally cool. Don't be too hard on yourself. Just try and enjoy your practice for where it is instead of perhaps where you would like it to be or perhaps where it was. It's nice to drop all expectations and I feel like it really makes a difference to the way you experience your practice. So see if you can be with yourself throughout your practice for what it is and see if that makes any difference. And if you'd like to join in on weekly classes, you can hit the subscribe button. It goes a long way for the channel. And when you're ready, you can grab your mats and let's begin. Alrighty, so make your way to a comfortable seat, sit up nice and tall, take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring your eyes to close. So stand up, sit up nice and tall, roll the shoulders back and down. And when you're ready, make your way into stillness. Just notice how that feels. See if you can embody your attention, perhaps noticing the contact you make with the ground or any prominent sensations in your seated position. You can begin to gently deepen your inhale and lengthen the exhale. And we're gonna see if we can keep our attention embodied on our physical form throughout our practice. Noticing how it feels to move through our practice with every movement and how it feels to synchronize our breath with our movement. Inhale to fill. Exhale to release. Once again, inhale to fill right up. And as you exhale, see if you can let it all go. Inhale, arms rise towards the sky. Exhale, bring them through to prayer at your heart center. Take a moment for yourself to set an intention. It can be for yourself or for someone else. And when you are finished, you can bow your head towards your hands to seal that off. And we'll make our way into child's pose to begin. You can make your way to the back of the mat, having the toes touching, hands reaching out in front. And as usual, if you ever find yourself needing to take a bit of a break, you can always come back to child's pose. So allow your forehead to rest gently on the ground. And you can begin to rock the head from left to right. Walk your hands to the left hand side of your mat. Stack your right hand on top of the left, ground the hand, and then pull the length along the right side. Use your exhale to release the side body stretching, lowering the hips back and down. Inhale your hands through center. Exhale, walk them off to the right hand side of the left hand stacks on top of the right. Ground the hand and use your exhale to pull length along the left side. Inhale your hands through center. Exhale, come up to tabletop, rise up. Tuck your toes, walk your hands a little bit forward, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bring your knees to hover off the floor. Engage your core, so bring your belly button up towards your spine, press the ground away. We're gonna do some circular motions, warming up into the wrist. You can change directions. Keeping your arms nice and strong. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Pedal the legs out from left to right. Just arrive into this posture. Perhaps you wanna keep your eyes closed. You wanna relax the back of the neck, press down through the hands. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, walk your hands towards your feet, moving the opposite direction, coming towards the back of the mat, slowly swaying, pressing, feeling your way to the back of the mat. When you get there, have your heat your heat, your feet hip width distance apart, grab opposite elbows, generous bend to the legs, relax the back of the neck and sway. Interlace the fingers behind your back, 
Squeeze your elbows together and send them up and over the head. It's always in these postures that you want to really relax into your exhale. Let gravity do all the work. Release the hands down. Heel toe your feet to touch. Inhale, half lift, straight spine, tuck the chin. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank. Slowly walk your hands towards the top of your mat. Keep your core engaged. Press the ground away. Feel the earth beneath your hands. Make your way into plank. Now raise your right leg off the floor. Keep yourself in a plank. Hips nice and aligned. Square yourself up. So you need to keep your right hip down. Press the ground away. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Press and curl. Inhale, one-legged plank, right leg extends back, keep your hips low. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg lifts up to the sky. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, cross over. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg back, lift and press. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, cross over, squeeze and lift the hips up. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg lifts up. Exhale, runner's lunge, right foot comes on the outside of the right hand, place the foot down and place your right hand on the inside of the right foot. And inhale, easy twist, right arm reaches up to the sky. And as you exhale, throw your right hand forward and straighten your front leg to a wide-legged pyramid pose. Inhale, bend the right knee a lot, lower the hips, reach the right arm back, look over the right shoulder. Exhale, throw the hand towards the front and straighten the right leg. So we're going to move through a few cycles. Inhale, right arm reaches up, lower the hips, look back. Exhale, hand forward, straighten the leg and press one last time. Inhale, lower the hips, reach back. Exhale, reach forward, straighten the front leg. Come forward, place the hands down, step back to plank. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, vinyasa. Lower halfway, keep your elbows in. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Straighten the arms, reach the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Inhale, plank, ripple forward to hold. Raise the left leg up to hold. One legged plank, keep yourself nice and strong. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Engage the core, lift the hips up. Inhale, one legged plank, hold. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Now left leg and the hips rise up to the sky. Exhale, left knee to right elbow, shift the weight forward. Tap and lift the hips up. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up and back. Exhale, left knee to right elbow, cross over. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg back. Exhale, runner's lunge. Left foot arrives on the outside of the left hand. Reposition yourself accordingly, strong on the feet. Inhale, easy twist, left arm reaches up, low the hips, look back. Exhale, left hand forward, straighten the front leg, wide-legged pyramid pose. Keep your chest leading up and then down. Inhale, low the hips, bend the left leg, left arm reaches back, look back. Exhale, wide-legged pyramid, throw the hand forward, straighten the front leg and bow towards the front foot, spine nice and straight. Inhale, lower the hips, left arm reaches back. Exhale, wide-legged pyramid, hand comes forward, straighten. Last time, with control. Inhale, lower the hips, left arm reaches back. Look over the shoulder. Exhale, wide-legged pyramid. Release, come forward, place the hands down. Step the left leg back, plank pose. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway, keep your elbows tucked in. Keep the head in line with the spine. Inhale, up dog, straighten the arms, squeeze, look up. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg reaches all the way up and back. Exhale, knee to nose, shift the weight forward, squeeze and lift the hips up. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up and back. Exhale, step through, place the foot in between the hands, low lunge. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, pyramid, press and straighten. Inhale, bend into the right knee. Exhale, high crescent lunge. Reach the arms up to hold. Inhale, reach towards the sky. Exhale, vertical twist right, 
right arm back, left arm back to hold. Now you can lower the right arm down to rest on the back leg and reach the left arm over for a twisted back bend. Inhale, exhale, skandasana to the back. So left arm comes back, bend into the left leg, straighten the right leg out. If you need to, you can use your hands to support you. And we're gonna skandasana to the front, keeping yourself nice and low, and low lunge to the back. Hands frame your left foot. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg reaches up and back. Exhale, left knee to right elbow, cross over and hold. Keep it there, extend the leg, place it out. Open up, fall in triangle, turn the hips, reach to the arm and hold. Now engage the core, raise the hips towards up to the sky, hold for three, two, one and release. Right arm down, inhale, left leg stacks on top of right, side plank vashistasana, left arm reaches up. Now you can modify it however you like. If you need to, you can lower the left leg down or you can reach the left leg up. Hold for three, two, one, release. Vinyasa, hands down, lower halfway, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, straighten the arms. Squeeze it up. Exhale, down dog, roll over the toes. Lower the heels all the way down. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg reaches up and back. Exhale, knee to nose, rock the weight forward, lift the hips up and squeeze. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up and back. Exhale, low lunge, left foot steps in between your hands. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, pyramid, press and straight and see if you can draw back on the left hip. Inhale, low lunge, bend into the left leg. Exhale, high crescent lunge, rise up. Power through the back leg, bend into the left leg. High in the ball in the back foot, square the hips up. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, vertical twist left, left arm back, right arm forward. Now hold, lower the left hand down towards the back leg, reach the right arm up and back, a twisted back bend. Inhale to reach up, exhale, skandasana to the back of the mat, bend into the right leg, straighten out the left leg. Now this time see if you can use a little bit less support in your hands, shifting from front to back, See if you can move with your breath. And we'll make our way to a low lunge at the top of our mat. So bend into the right leg, hands frame the right foot. Inhale, three-legged dog. Right leg reaches all the way up and back. Press down evenly through the hands. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, cross over and hold. Extend the leg out, place it down. Open up, fall in triangle. Turn the hips, reach to the left hand, power down through the right hand and hold for three. Lift the hips up, two, one, and release. Left hand comes down. Side plank, Vashistasana. Right foot stacks on top of the left. Reach the right arm up to hold. Now, again, a modify however which way you like. If you'd like to turn it up a little bit, you can raise the right leg up, hold for three, two, one, Release, hands down, feet down, flow through your vinyasa. So you shift the weight forward, exhale halfway, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze, look up. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels lower down. Inhale, bend the knees, gaze forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of the mat. <coughs> Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Heel toe your feet to the wide edges of your mat. Drop the hips down, coming into Malasana or Yogi squat. So if you need to, you can come onto the balls of the feet. Otherwise, wait to the heels, sit up nice and tall, hands to prayer. I'm gonna move through just a quick balance here. So for crow pose, you wanna place your hands down onto the floor and we'll start off just with a simple crow. Have your elbows tucked inwards. Place the elbow on the, in the crease of the knee on both sides. You want to squeeze your elbows, your knees in towards your elbows. Shift the weight forward. Come on, to the, to, come on high arm to the toes of the feet. Now bend the elbows to 90 degrees. See if you can get the weight over onto the back of the elbows. Squeeze. Take one foot off. Take the other foot off. And then see if you can try both. And when you get both, see if you can breathe. Hold for three, two, one and release. Well done. Place the feet down. We're going to make our way 
onto our sitting bones. Extend the feet out. Have the soles of the feet to touch. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, shift the weight forward and release. So you can have your sitting bones wherever you like, kind of wherever feels good. You can walk yourself forward, you can walk them back. And if you have any blocks or any pillows, you can always place them underneath your legs just to give them some support so they can relax. But if you don't have any, that's also fine. What's important is that you keep yourself moving forward and down. And release, wind up, place the feet down. From here, we're gonna move into Navasana. So raise the heels up, we're gonna do some Navasana twists, bring the hands to prayer. We're gonna take a deep breath and lift the chest up, exhale, twist. So right elbow to the right, left knees to the left. And rise through center and twist. Keep going through center. If you wanna add in a little more, you can straighten yourself out, bring it to center, kind of See what feels good. Move with your breath. You want to keep yourself nice and steady. Hold for five. Keep going. Four. Three. Two. One. And release. Place the feet down. Have a quick breather. And one last round. Raise the legs up. Now, if you need to modify, you can always have the hands down and you can twist yourself with your hands supported. If you'd like a little more, you can straighten your legs out. You can even hold onto a weight if you need one or if you have one. So bring the hands to prayer, take a deep breath in. And left legs left, elbows twist right. Keep going. Move with the breath. As you rise through center, open up the chest. Yeah, and so it's nice to see if you can synchronize the breath with the movements. Inhaling to open up the posture, exhale to close. And that's kind of with all postures. You always inhale to open, exhale to close. Last three, two, one, and release. Well done, knees in, rock and roll from the front to back. And release. Draw the knees into your chest, give it a good squeeze. We're going to eagle the right leg over the left, have the arms cactus up towards the back of the room, and then low the leg over to the left hand side for an eagle modification. Again, use your exhale, release and relax into the posture. It's always nice to keep your eyes closed for the quieter parts of the class. And release, we're going to switch them out. Left crosses over the right. And lower the leg over to the right hand side. Supine twist. And look over the left shoulder, keeping both shoulders onto the floor. And release. Unwind the legs. Draw the knees in. Give yourself a good squeeze. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release into Shavasana. Well done. Have your toes out, palms up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release and relax. Well done. Allow your body to rest in space. Enjoy the stillness. Notice the tingling and the sensations of your 20 minute practice. And allow yourself a few rounds of mindful, steady breaths just to let your practice soak up.
It was a pleasure sharing the space and energy with you. Thanks for putting in time and effort into your practice and this channel is much appreciated. And see if you can learn Shavasana just for five breaths longer than you normally would. And I'll see you next time on the mat. Namaste.